It may look like snow in the night lights of Prince George, but remember it's mid-July. This is in fact a major infestation of brown and white moths that's been plaguing residents in BC's northern city. The moths are pretty harmless, so they don't really do anything except uh, accumulate in large numbers like this around lights. The moth infestation should come as no surprise because earlier this summer, Prince George was dealing with a major caterpillar infestation. Tent caterpillars were hatching by the thousands, covering roads and destroying deciduous trees. The infestation was so bad that some experts were concerned that many trees in the city would be killed. These infestations happen in cycles, but they haven't been this bad for at least seven years. They've gone through the pupation stage, so they're now coming out to find the mate, mate and generate the next generation of, of uh, little caterpillars that are going to torture us next year. The city of Prince George does not spray for pests like these. It simply waits for the creatures to go through their regular life cycles. Moths don't do damage like caterpillars, but some people can have an allergic reaction to their scales. In Prince George at night, some residents are finding them annoying as they hover around by the thousands near any available light. Well, you can do one of two things. You can not turn on your light so that there's no light to attract them at night or you can change the color of the, the uh, uh, light to a uh, yellow and that seem, for some reason uh, doesn't seem to attract them. Once the moths mate and lay their eggs, they will die. Experts say they'll be gone in a week or two, but with so many laying eggs, it's anyone's guess just how many of the pests will be back next year.